Well, as many of you know, Moon Knight is known for all of his personalities. Mark Spector, Stephen Grant, Jake Lockley, and even Khonshu himself. But recently in Marvel Comics, the character has taken up another identity, and this time it's a villain. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about what's going on in Marvel Comics with Moon Knight and why he's taken up a villainous role. Well, if you're currently following Moon Knight comics, you've been getting some pretty interesting stories from the crew. In the most recent issue, number 22, we actually get a huge revelation about the character and some of the quite villainous ways he's taken up over the last couple of issues. Now, in case you didn't know, in recent months, Moon Knight, aka Mark Spector, has been in a relationship with Tigra. Yes, that Tigra. And the relationship is, well, kind of stalled. Now, this was complicated in this month's issue because one of Moon Knight's enemies actually returned. That would be Midnight Man. And he'd been going through various parts of New York City, pulling off a series of heists, which is classic for the character. But, but this particular version of the character seems to only be stealing from legitimate criminals. And this is where the reveal for Mark Spector comes in. Now, throughout the course of the issue, Tiger manages to track down and capture Midnight Man. But when she engages him in full combat, it becomes super apparent that the new Midnight Man is none other than Mark Spector. That's right, Mark Spector has another identity, and this time it's the villain Midnight Man. Now as you dive into the issue, it becomes pretty apparent what's going on. As many of you know, Mark Spector and Stephen Grant tend to have a lot of money. But over the years of superhero adventures and having to buy rather expensive things like Moon Knight's absolutely ridiculous helicopter, Mark Spector has found himself to be, well, broke. We find out in the book the reason Mark has taken up this villainous mantle is basically to replenish his coffers and fund his superhero lifestyle. But to do this, he's basically been going after known and unknown criminals of New York City. Now, this is pretty morally questionable, but to be quite honest, Moon Knight typically falls into that category anyway, and I don't think it's too much of a departure from the classic character. As Mark points out in the book, he's ripping off people like the mob, gangs, and even Hydra. So, it's not like he's taking from the good guys, but it's definitely not something Tigra, but it's definitely not something that Tigra gives her approval to. And if you're reading this series, she really directly challenges him on his ability to tell the truth. And by the end of the issue, you see quite the evolving character from Mark Spector. Now, as for Mark taking up the new mantle of Midnight Man, I think that might actually be done at this point. Now that it's been exposed to Tigra and their relationship is kind of resolved, I don't expect him to take up the mantle once again, but it does show you the moral flexibility of Moon Knight and his multiple personalities, which often creates a really great story in Marvel Comics. Whether we see Midnight Man return once again, we're gonna have to wait and see.